Everyone, Dr. Chris here with Sports Chiropractic. And as chiropractors, one of the things we hear a lot from patients, they're trying to figure out what type of mattress should I sleep on? How should I sleep? And we hear this all the time from patients. I think this week alone, Dr. Rodman had already said he's had three patients ask him about it. I've had a couple too. So I just recently bought a new bed for my house. And because I got a new bed for my house, I would just say, I can tell you what kind of mattress you can sleep on. So the first thing you have to look at when it comes to the mattress, it's not the mattress itself, it's how do you sleep? Are you somebody that's a side sleeper? Are you somebody that's a back sleeper? Are you somebody that's a stomach sleeper? Right now, I'll tell you, don't be a stomach sleeper. Not good, that's a whole nother video. <laughs> but for side sleepers, uh, there's a scale that goes zero to 10, zero being the softest, 10 being the firmest. And side sleepers usually want medium firmness to soft firmness. It depends on how much you wanna sink into the mattress a little bit. The one I just got is a medium, uh, but it's a little too hard for me and my wife, so we're actually gonna wind up exchanging it and going for a soft one. Uh, if you're someone who sleeps on your back, a medium firmness to what's called a luxury firm or a firm. Uh, luxury firm's kind of a plusher version of the firm, but that way you won't sink it to the mattress, you won't get the excess curve in your back, and it's gonna sit there and be nice for you. But if you are a stomach sleeper, you want this at least a firm. A luxury firm to the firm, it can be a little bit softer, but you wanna make sure none of your parts of your body sink into the mattress, you'll wind up having some pain. So when things to consider, now that you know what type of, well, you know what type of sleeper you are, uh, little things. One is that uh, Certi Pure. This is an organization that goes through and certifies different types of memory foams and stuff like that. And because there's memory foams have become such a popular bedding type, or at least put in some types of heads, this actually goes through and they'll test for all the chemicals that are inside of it and all the things that could be bad for you. So make sure a bed is at least Certi Pure, especially if you're gonna get it from outside the country. Uh, trial periods, returns, exchanges, warranties. Uh, those are things that come into play too, and it's not just that. Like the bed I'm on right now, 30 days trial, and that's pretty standard for most beds before they'll want you to send it back. Because when the beds come, it's gonna be a little firmer, no matter what type of bed you want. So over the 30 days, it will get softer and softer. Uh, that's why they just wanna make sure you don't sleep on it for two nights and go, it's horrible. Uh, then return, do you have to ship it back? How are your exchange, uh, do you have to donate the bed? Uh, one of the bed, the bed I just bought, their program is, you just donate it. If it's not your bed, give it to a local shelter or something like that so that at least that way uh, you can give back to the community and they can help uh, and they'll send you a new mattress. Uh, but another company I looked at, it was a memory foam and they just say, ship them back the one layer of foam, they'll ship you a new layer of foam and essentially that's how they do it too. The mattress is actually interchangeable on the inside. Three, uh, edge support. Are you like my myself and my wife, have we sleep in the bed, where my wife gets this much of the bed and I get this much of the bed. You want edge support, so that way you don't have to uh, roll off the bed or feel like you're falling off the side of the bed. Or do you have little ones that climb into bed with you? If they sit on the edge, they'll just slide off. So edge support, if you're alone, you're in the middle of the bed, you don't have to really worry about it though. Uh, height of the mattress. I have a toddler at home, she's too and adorable, but if she, I don't want her to fall off the mattress too. So the height of the mattress, you gotta make sure it's actually comfortable for you to get down and off the bed. Technology. The last few years, there's been a boom in technology for the mattresses too. Uh, I talked to a lot of salesmen about this. Uh, there's foam beds, hybrid beds, latex beds, uh, and then within that, are there individual springs, copper titanium in the foam, grid pattern, molecules in the materials. Like the bed I got has something called phase change technology inside the uh, top coat of the bed. And as you uh, warm up, it'll actually kind of liquefy and absorb some of the body heat out of you because it has a set temperature it's supposed to be at. But if you're too cool, it'll act more solid and actually help you retain some of your body heat. So there's a lot of cool tech like that inside the mattresses now that you can look into. Uh, technology of the mattress base. You want to recline your foot elevating base too. And those things come into play too. If you're one of the patients has a history of back pain or you have some type of leg issue and you have to have your legs up in the air, these are far and away one of the options for you. It's worth spending the extra money. And even going, and rather than just one big adjustable base, looking at two twin beds for you and your partner. And you, uh, so each one of you has fully customizable. And then cost. There's so many price points there. Not everything is what you would call super luxury. You can get some very, very, very good bed in the box mattresses now. And most of them online now are bed in the box and somehow. It's amazing how you just get this tiny box and it blows up like that. But what winds up happening, there's because there's so many uh, competitors out there, it's not always the big box stores. There's a lot of online competition for everything. So spring coil mattresses. Uh, these are the tried and true. These have been around for as long as beds have been around. Well, this is what came after hay. <laughs> uh, pros for them. They're easy to find. They're all over the place. Every carrier you go to is going to have these. They're cost effective. These are going to be at the lower price point tiers. They can get more expensive, but if you want something at the lower price point, uh, you just want something in a guest bedroom or something like that, it's a good uh, uh, thing for you. Easy to toss and turn. If you're one of those people that has to worry about uh, tossing and turning at night, you're a restless sleeper. That's the thing. 
and springy feel, good for sex. It's in the bedroom, it's what happens. Memory foams, it doesn't give you the bounce in your step <laughs> or on your back or however it is. So that's actually something that comes into play. It happens. Uh, cons, the way the beds are, the way springs are, sometimes they're, uh, you have to look into them. They're isolated springs or they're all together. So they're usually not the best for motion transfer beds. Uh, it does conform to your body. You just kind of hover on top of the mattress and you can get the altered spine pattern too. Over years, they sink. So these are the ones that if you've had them five, six, seven years that you start to see the bigger divots inside the mattress too. And they can be noisy. These are the beds that sometimes you hear beds that get the creak or the crack on them when you're moving around. So you have to worry about that. So again, how are the springs built? Things to consider, is it gonna be all the individual spring patterns or is it gonna be one lumpy spring together and they're all individual, all the coils. And the arrangement, some of the things with the springs now, it's, uh, they'll have loading zones. So down by your feet where there's not more, a lot of body weight, it'll be less. But in the places where you have more body weight, you'll see a higher density of coils to help actually conform to your body too. Uh, pillow top, pillow top is really comfortable in the beginning. I have a pillow top on my old spring mattress that we just got rid of, but uh, after having, I think we're on eight to 10 years, somewhere in that range where we got it. My wife who weighs absolutely, she's just tiny. Uh, the bed actually goes like this. So you see it different from me, it raises up, goes down again. And if we put our uh, toddler in the middle, it's funny, she just rolls to one side of the bed or the other. So the pillow top, I, I'm not a big fan of it, but it's really comfortable in the beginning. And number of layers. Uh, the nice thing about spring and coil mattresses, all of them almost have some of the newer technology in it now where you're gonna see a top layer of padding on top of it no matter what, but a lot of them have at least an inch or two of memory foam on them now. So hybrid, this is the one I went with. This was my favorite type of bed that I tested out. This was my thing. Uh, pros with them, they usually sleep uh, cooler than the memory foam mattresses. So with the hybrid, the re way they're called hybrid, they usually see multiple layers of uh, what's inside of it. So you see one layer, two layer, three layers, this, all the coils and then my bed also has and this is actually the bed I got too broken Aurora I'll plug it all day long I get no kickback <laughs> give me money but yeah it's a great bed uh, less chemical aroma when new uh, with that process called off gassing so since it's not as much memory foam you don't have as much aroma coming off the bed too uh, some beds I've heard you have to air for a few days mine they say air for 30 minutes and you're pretty good uh, easy to toss and turn because you do have the springs underneath that you still have will have some bounce in the bed I'm a restless sleeper I'm turning all night this works great for me. And then there's a variety of firmness levels too. So they can go all the way from the lighter levels to where you're gonna be really plush and sink into the bed, but you also get to the very firm levels too. Um, and so every type of sleeper, you can find a hybrid good for you. Cons, there's more motion transfer than a memory foam, but it's still not bad. Uh, motion transfer is when you see those things where they put wine glasses, fill it with wine, and then jump on the bed. These beds, uh, this one specifically, they were dropping a 10 pound bowling ball on one side of the bed and the glass wasn't spilling. So the motion transfer isn't bad, but it's not like a memory foam at all. They don't cradle your body, so you don't get that nice snug feeling that you would in a memory foam and they can be heavy. Uh, this mattress for mine was 135 pounds and I had to bring it upstairs alone. Not fun. <laughs> so again, it's gonna be somewhere though, things to consider too when you're looking at this. So it's gonna be the same type of things as the springs. How are the springs uh, done? Uh, but all the hybrids I saw were all individual springs, so that wasn't a big deal. Uh, they still, some of them have the pillow top. Again, I'm not a personal fan of it, though it is comfortable in the short term, long term, it's gonna sink. And again, number of layers. Uh, it's really cool. Like this one has a layer of copper on top uh, with the memory foam, that's antimicrobial. The layer underneath it has what they call a Titan cool, so it's interwoven with titanium uh, wires inside of it, or titanium mesh, so it pulls some of the heat out of you. Then there's just a thick layer with all the springs, and then there's another thick layer of foam just to absorb all the impact. So it's really nice. Uh, memory foam. This is the thing that's blowing up. Uh, I think memory foam came out in the 70s. It was developed by NASA for like seats and airlines. <laughs> so it's actually really cool. And this was actually another cool bed company too. I saw online, Nest Alexander. Uh, really good company that they have. So big uh, pros for these. If you're one of those people that likes to sit into the mattress and have it cradle your body, memory foam is actually gonna be one of the ones you really like. Uh, little to no, trans no motion transfer, so if you have a partner that likes does like to turn in the bed, or say if you have little ones that try to, uh, and you're getting up in the middle of the night and having to get back in the bed, motion transfer is a really good thing for you to look at. And these mattresses are quiet. There's no springs, there's nothing to rock inside the mattress, so it's gonna be really silent. Uh, cons, you do sink more into the bed. So if you're one of those people that does like to toss and turn at night, this bed, you're just gonna feel like you're sinking into it. And since I tossed, the so second I sat on memory foams, just wasn't for me. Yeah, I think so. Uh, when you do, can have a chemical aroma, and the chemical aroma can last for a few days too. You'll see with the beds too. These are the ones that people talk about that have the off-gassing that smell associated with it. 
There's no bounce to the bed and a little edge support on a lot of them too. They'll build in some type of edge support, but these are the beds that when you sit on it, you'll slide right off of them too. Okay, and again, weight of the mattress, they can be really heavy, and then number of foam layers too. That's the stuff that makes it, when you start to see the higher price tiers with them, the number of layers are usually going to go into it. Okay, now there's some of the main ones. Then there's some other mattress types out there. I'm not even talking about latex today, but like say the purple mattress, that's one that's gained a lot of popularity, uh, especially online over the last few years. Their technology, it's just, it's like a silicone grid pattern, the way the bed is. It's really amazing with how it is. Uh, I got a chance to lay on this, absolutely loved it, but I didn't find much edge support to it, and neither did my wife. So when we tried to lay down on it, it just felt like we were falling off the sides of the beds. But because of the way it's built and everything like that, there's a lot of shock absorption that goes to it. It's very cool because there's no individual springs, there's just air flowing through all those chambers too. So yeah, little chemical aroma, easy to toss and turn, really cool like that. So there's other types of technology out there that are really good. So the biggest takeaway is try out a bed. <laughs> That's the biggest takeaway for it, whatever's good for you. Hybrid is the one that meets kind of a little bit of everything. It gets the benefit of the spring and the benefit of memory foam. But again, depending on if you're a back sleeper or side sleeper, side sleepers, hybrid's really good for you. Uh, back sleepers, you can get, get a nice cradle on a firm memory foam if you're a back sleeper or stomach sleeper on a memory foam too. So again, uh, go out, try them out, go to every store you can, <laughs> but it's whatever's good for you, that's gonna be, be best.